Hi, we are uh, Team Tech Health, and then this is my team. And then our idea, we are building the app which will enable the emergency medical services to go and attend to the, to the, to the patient. And then who, uh, our target market is the med, people with medical aid. And then our problem statement is that contact center remain the contact point for emergency medical service request. All the calls, they go there. And then it takes 10 to 15 minutes for, for call to be resolved. And other calls are unresolved. And then people need hospital authorization before the pickup can happen. And then our solution, we're gonna use the app to request a uh, uh, service via uh, an app through with a push button. You just push a button and then the request will go. And then uh, EMS service provider will accept requests directly without intervention of the call center, which means the call goes directly to them, then they accept. And then the, the EMS will be time-based uh, destination calculation. It calculates where, where are you on the, on the location, and then it gives opportunity for the person of the nearest to respond. But if time elapses, then it opens to everyone. And then if it fails, then it escalates to the call center to contact someone to attend to the scene. And then we will also use the voice recognition for, for, for texting via VIP uh, innovation. Our, our key partners and resources, we're gonna use uh, the medical service providers to, to deliver our service, which means we're gonna sell it to them to say, this is how you're gonna pick up your, your patient if they're not feeling well. And then also the uh, ambulance services through the EMS will also be the channel that we're gonna deliver through. And then uh, our technical pa partners is the VIP innovation in terms of giving resources of voice recognition on, uh, and other platforms that we're gonna need from them. Our value pro proposition, the app can be integrated into medical aid app for easy access so that you don't have to have two apps, but you can have one that can push through your, your request. And then the other one, uh, the app screens the patient, either they are a network or they are non-network. If you are network, then which means they recommend that you go to the hospit uh, hospital network. If non-network, then you can access any medical facility. And then the, uh, the app also recommends at the end of the year, during the renewal plan, then it recommends that since you are uh, medical behaviors like this, you can take this plan so that you are well covered. And then our revenue stream, we decided that we have, uh, for med we have got medical aid, and then for high volume, they're gonna pay a flat rate mon uh, monthly. For people with low volume, it's gonna be per service request. Once you request a service, then you're gonna pay for that service. And then our cost, we estimated that we've got dev, database administrator, database hosting, and other costs which still to be determined. And then I'll hand over to my tech guy. Okay, with the application, you will be able, once you log, with the app, you'll be able to log in. This, uh, my colleague here will show the judges on what you can do on the, on the applications once you log in. You can sign up on the application. After signing up on the application, it gives you an option to, to, to request help. But also, another added feature that we added is that we made it possible so that you can request help for another person. you use to build this in terms of the APIs and the tech? On the API side, we, we used v, v, VOP, v, VOIP innovations because they, they enabled in-app chat screens and, and also we used uh, IBM database management so to, make, to manage the information online instead of hosting it locally. So that also makes it IoT possible so that you don't have to pay a lot of money like investing in, in a lot of database in a lot of databases. So your target audience just people with medical aid, eh? Is that is that uh, did I get it right, or is yeah. there an exception? Well, now we're, we're working on people with medical aid, and then in future, got it. Got it. Okay. 
your colleague was just explaining us the, 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 the app. Could you just take us in 30 seconds, if um, I'm new, I, do I need to register? How does it work? Just quickly. Okay, well, you, once after you, you download the application, after downloading it, it's, if you have an existing account, you can log in. If you don't have an account, you sign in. When you are signing in, on the, when you are signing up on the application, it gives you an option to like request your ID number and, and if you have medical aid. With those, docu with that information, we make it possible for for like for the for for hospitals to have all the inform all the relevant information about you instead of instead of hospitals. When you get there, they ask you, can you please provide us with your ID number and your medical type and all of those things. So that's what we are trying to do. Is that we are trying to limit to cut out all that paperwork in a nutshell.